today we are going through difficult times, and I'm sure that if the president enjoyed good counsel from his church like I have, we probably would not be where we are. <laughs> because you would have known the reality on the ground and uh, been able to determine that the direction in which we were going um, is not really the best. But like I said, I mean, unfortunately we are where we are. And so I think that not only the church, but all of us in leadership, you know, must contribute our opinions and advice and suggestions to see how this government can begin to turn uh, things around. Because like I said, in, in WA, um, all the political parties are in competition for leadership. And so you cannot be happy that one party administration is going through economic difficulty and you stand and gloat over it. I mean, we must contribute what we can to ensure that they turn it around. Because if you sit and laugh and you think that you're happy with what's going on, um, you may not win power in 2025 to have a country to govern. And so better to uh, work together and turn things around, um, especially for the ordinary people of this country. The hardship is is real and uh, when you go to the grassroots um, you find that people really have a difficulty and I'll say especially in the health area I mean the national health insurance is not working very well and people go to a hospital and they're asked to pay for it and they just don't have the money and so we just say that we must all put our shoulders to the wheel the churches political leaders, the civil society organizations, traditional rulers and everybody, so that we can turn things around and make life better for the majority of our people.